so much has happened over the years and I've gained so much experience. So the way that I go into the tournament and approach it, now I'm playing players that are a lot younger than me. I took it a little bit too seriously, whereas now I want to enjoy myself because I know how short an uh, athlete's career can be. I think it's phenomenal to see squash growing in the Middle East, especially like for the women. Um, I know it's, it's a little bit tougher for women's sports to kind of get recognized in the Middle East, and so hopefully we can keep pushing in the, in the future and keep growing. It's phenomenal the first that uh, the women are back for the first time since 2015. It was cool to play one of my first few tournaments in Qatar, and you know, unfortunately I haven't had the chance to come back until now, so I think it, it's great to come back after all these years and play in a major event alongside the men. The men always rave every year on how well they're treated in Qatar and the women we just see this and we're like, I want to come back, I want to be a part of this. So to be a part of it again is uh, really nice. I think the biggest one for squash players is financial stability. Um, I don't think that as squash players we get the recognition that we deserve. I mean, we're playing one of the toughest sports out there and the amount of reward we get for the risks that we're taking in this sport and the risks we're taking on our bodies um, is not quite comparable. Um, I just, I don't think that, even though the prize money is getting a lot better, PSA is like, has been pushing, they push for equality, like we're very good having equal prize money between the men and women, but so you have a lot of training expenses, coaches, fitness coach, physio, you have to take care of your body, um, sports psychologist, nutritionist if needed. When you get injured as well, you make most of your income on tournaments. A lot of it's on tournaments or sponsorships, and so if you get injured, which I have in the past, like, you're not making money because you can't compete. Um, there's the potential that sponsors will drop you because you're out for a while, which I've had um, both of that happen I, when I ruptured my Achilles in 2017 and I was out for nine months. So I got to kind of experience the other side to being a professional athlete. So it's not all glamorous where you're like going and playing tournaments and winning and, and making money. Like I, I've seen kind of the downside to it as well. and. And sometimes when players do get injured, there's not enough that, there, there is no support or the stability there. What motivates me to keep going is the fact that like I've become almost like a, a role model and mentor to a lot of um, people and players, especially like the next generation in the U.S., girls in the U.S. and so. For, for me to see the impact that I'm making through what I've kind of gone through on tour, what I've overcome, the challenges, what I've achieved from that, and know that like I'm being able to inspire others in the process, like that motivates me to keep going and keep like training day in, day out, going to these tournaments, traveling the world, everything, just keep giving it my all at these tournaments because of the impact that I wanna make on that next generation.